we conducted the DCAF2 trial uh, to answer the question that fibrosis guided ablation improves outcome in persistent AFib patient compared to PVI. Uh, 842 patients, 44 sites worldwide were recruited. We gave the uh, one group, we looked at the atrial fibrosis and MRI. We targeted the fibrosis, the other group we did PVI only without seeing the MRI image. And we looked at three months follow-up, looked at lesion formation, ablation scar lesion formation, correlated this to outcome as well. Follow-up was one year looking for AFib, atrial attack or aflatter recurrence. The major finding of, of, of DCAF2, we have 5% relative risk reduction in favor of the MRI group, but not significant difference. Uh, what's interesting in DCAF2 is that the more scar you cover, when we looked at the follow-up MRIs, the more the fibrosis is covered with ablation scar that forming at three months, the better the outcome. In fact, if you, in, by 20% more scar you coverage, the higher the out, the better the outcome. And this is applies only for patients who present with early stages of the fibrosis. Later stage of fibrosis on presentation, PVI is sufficient in this patient population. Altogether, if you go to the clinic tomorrow morning, Persistent AFib PVI seems to way to go unless you have an assessment of your myopathy of fibrosis. Little fibrosis, try to ablate, cover the fibrosis with scar, and do a good job forming it and covering it. Later fibrosis, PVI continue to be the mainstream.